Hi, Mark Reynolds here from Breeze Automotive again. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about our steering and front suspension in our Factory 5 Mark III Roadster. Uh, starting off with the steering wheel, we have installed on this car our quick release steering wheel hub. That's a made in USA piece. This is actually sort of a, an old demo piece, but um, they look about like that. They're made in, mm, I don't know if it's Arizona or Nevada, but they are made in USA. They have plenty of splines on the hub and uh, it's a good good solid feel to the steering even though you have a, a removable wheel. The rest of it's uh, standard factory five parts down to our power rack we have installed here with Breeze solid aluminum offset rack mounting bushings which should be a part of everyone's scober in our opinion. Uh, where it gets interesting is um, here on our front suspension. We did a little bump steer check with our setup which was SN95 spindles, that's 1994-1995 along with um, the SAI mod and you can see here this is part of the SAI mod that was developed to improve suspension tuning but when we did that we found that the um, tires really stuck out from the body more than we would like and I think there's nothing that screams kit car more than cars with tires and wheels that aren't oriented properly to the fenders so I decided that it would be nice to somehow pull that in. Spoke with Mark Doherty of Factory 5 and he sort of agreed that the wheels were always out too far. And by the way, these are standard 17 by 9 wheels with Neato uh, 245 uh, 45 17s. But to bring them in, what we did is we mounted our front lower control arms in the inboard mounting hole. So even though they're Fox with control arms, we mounted them in the SN95 mounting holes to bring the wheels in a bit. And uh, so that got our wheels inboard like we wanted them, but then when we checked the bump steer, we found that it was getting a really out of control and sort of extreme. So we looked at the upper control arms next, and what we found was with the SAI mod, with the control arms mounted outboard like this from the standard factory 5 position instead of up here, and that combined with the inboard control arm position brought the spindle in so far that the upper link was just too short. So what was happening is when that link got past horizontal and started to compress more it really pulled the upper ball joint in rapidly causing a toe out situation on compression what we decided to do was go back to the inboard or the original factory 5 mounting hole for the upper control arm at least as far as a inboard outboard direction but we liked the lower mounting point of the SAI mod so what we did is we decided to mount the control arm under the under the top plate instead of on top of the top plate. So we got the lower mounting point but more inboard so and that allowed us to go to a um, what a lot of people do is replace the aluminum upper coupler sleeves with steel ones so we bought some suede steel upper coupling sleeves to complete the arrangement. Now when we jack the wheel up and down and by the way this car is at full droop you can see that even at full droop the wheels are pretty happy position and at ride height they look about the same so although we haven't had a full alignment we think we're in pretty good shape for bump steer. All that, by the way, without doing rack extenders or changing the boots on, that come on the rack, but it is with the Breeze offset rack mounting kit and the rack in the lowered position. Uh, one caveat on that um, is that in order to put those control arms in the inboard lower hole, we had to do quite a bit of hogging out of the frame here. As you can see, that mounting point or that pivot point had to interfere with the frame so we did quite a bit of hogging out we got maybe sixty percent of that frame tube still there I think it's adequate uh, strength wise we also welded in our little bracket for the SAI mod on top so that's how we set up our front suspension hope you enjoyed watching and oh by the way that's our uh, QA1 externally adjustable shock absorber up front there with the aluminum body Talk to you later.